What is up you guys, Born to Grind here, coming back at you with a revisited Obscure Moneymaker. Now I did my first cover of this back about nine months ago and uh, I decided since it's been a while, let's revisit it and see if it's still profitable. Being self-taught and all, I figured this would be a good opportunity to do a compilation using the zoom feature. It is a little rough, but the second half is way better than the first half. Let's talk supplies though. To do this method, just like I am, you're going to need to move your POH to Taverly for 5k and buy tellies to your house and teleport outside is the feature you're going to use when you break those. Also have rings of dueling for castle wars and then my 500 keys, I actually bought the loop and tooth halves and made them myself. For even more profit of course. Being as transparent as possible I'm throwing the total cost of all of the things up on the screen here and I am going to do a lap with you guys starting here at the GE because I'm assuming that's where you'll be when you finish buying supplies. We're going to use a house telly to break it to go outside to Taverly and then run just a little bit south open the building and then at the very back here we are going to find the crystal chest coming up on the chest now that I managed to get the door open you can see somebody else has been here trying their luck just like I am for you guys if you like the video so far please consider dropping a like and subscribing to the channel to see more content like this and quest guides and a whole bunch of other stuff when opening the chest, you are guaranteed a uncut dragonstone, which will be about 13 to 14k of the 20 you need to break even, so that's not too bad. We've used up all our keys at this point though, and the trip has ended. We're just going to use our dueling ring to go to Castle Wars. At Castle Wars, just empty all of your loot into the bank. Make sure you have your POH teleports, take out an extra ring of dueling if you need one, which you eventually will, and grab some more keys. Instead of taking just five keys this next time, I decided to take six. And with that, on to the compilation. Hope you enjoy. Just checking in here at the halfway point, I have hit 5 mil in loot, we have 10 mil in this, and I have 26 keys left until I reach the halfway point. We are looking like we're going to come out in the money, but stay tuned to find out. So let's get back to it, spend the rest of these keys.
right, you guys, the grind is done. Now let's talk about it for a little bit. I managed to get 19 extra keys in addition to the 500, and these are the POH and dually rings that I have left over. I actually only spent about 50k in supplies here, so that is mwah, chef's kiss. Couldn't ask for anything better. Let's be honest though, I know you guys are just dying to see the final loot from opening 500 crystal chests. Not gonna bullshit you guys, here it is. The profit here was pretty freaking good. I have about, we'll call it 1.5 million profit between making the keys and opening chests i have about three and a half to four hours of time invested that's not too bad for a zero skill requirement and uh that's about it hope you enjoyed the video like i said before please consider subscribing and i will catch you guys on the next one